bring all your attention into the breath, all your attention inside. That's where the goodness of life is going to be found. And John Fu made the comment one time that it was because of a John Lee that he could see some of the brightness of life. By that he didn't mean the bright lights outside. He meant the brightness of a well-trained mind, a mind where you have some control over what you're going to think. And you think in ways that are actually helpful. You don't give in to moods, you don't give in to thoughts that are going to be destructive or harmful. When the mind is trained that way, then, as the Buddha said, you have a mainstay and it's hard to find. Because look at this world. You're born into the world, you hope to depend on your parents, but you can't depend on your parents all the time. You hope to depend on your own body, but it begins to turn traitor. It'll do things for you for a while, and then it suddenly decides it's not going to do them. And then it does them for a little while longer, and then it stops again. So you can't even depend on your own body all the way. And as for your mind, if the mind is not trained, you can't depend on that either. A thought can come in, it can take over, and who knows where it's going to take you if you don't have some control. So we need to exert some control over our thoughts. Bring them to the breath. Make sure they keep coming back, coming back, coming back. And think good things about the breath, things that are useful. In this way, as you begin to learn how to depend on your own mind, the fact that you can't depend on the world outside becomes a lot less of a burden. You realize that you were looking for security in the wrong place. But then you start looking in the right places. First you listen to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. Because they know what true happiness is and where it can be found, what it needs to be done to gain it. And as for the rest of the world, sometimes you just have to say, well, I can't pay that any mind. So I pay mind to that, it's going to pull me into its craziness. As John Fuhrman once said, if you follow the world, you, you start being stupid like the world. So you want to follow the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha instead. And that way you get to a point where you don't have to follow anybody. You become independent, because you really can depend on yourself. So that's where we're headed. And it starts with this practice of just coming back, coming back, coming back to the breath, trying to get on good terms with the breath. So it's easier and easier to stay here. And that way you gain a sense of what it's like to have a mind that is well-trained.